Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have an update about one of the most infamous frauditors on YouTube, Glenn Serio. And this update comes directly from the channel Tella Klein. So give her some love the next time you're on our channel. Hello, we're outside the Snohomish County Corrections, the Snohomish County Jail, where our Glenn will be spending five days. And nights. <laughs> and nights upcoming. They did not say when he has to report. But we can't wait. <laughs> the good news is the appeal was denied and Glenn will be serving his five-day sentence for reckless driving. This has been a ticket from three years ago. In November of 2019, he received his uh, reckless driving ticket. And then in July last year, he was sentenced to five days in jail. And it has taken until today for the appeal to be denied. Yeah, that's an awfully long time for an appeal to go anywhere. But hell, five days is five days, but it won't help him learn anything. The judge denied for... I'll let go ahead and tell. For two reasons. Um, on the rogue appeal. And his lawyer was nice enough to tell the judge that Glenn is currently in Texas. But he has been spotted by more than one person in the last week in the Aurora, Shoreline, and Linwood area. So either Glenn is lying to his lawyer or his lawyer can't remember which client he was there for. I suspect Glenn may be lying to people. That may be why his lawyer doesn't know where he's at. His lawyer was the elderly lawyer. He admitted to the judge that the case was old and he really can't remember what's happened on the case. They've lost part of the case file. And he really, when it was his turn to speak, he really had nothing to say. He had, he he thought it was because, his issue was because the they argued it was on 12th and Maple and the judge said that didn't really matter. That all the merits of the case were correct and that um, he was not, she was not going to mess with a sentence that fell within the lines. So. Ms. St. Clair did a wonderful job in reciting 10.3a as the reason to deny the appeal. Judge Grant had previously found conviction. His lawyer then mumbled something about the jury instruction. Judge Moore today said the jury instruction was proper and that Mr. Jones would have to have something on his appeal that he could appeal and not just ask for an appeal vaguely, which he was told is what he was doing today. So we finally have a victory in the story of Glenn Serial and the reckless driving case. Good news, Officer Jacoby did not lose his job. He did not lose his home. But it appears Glenn has lost his home and his job. So um, justice has been served today. We finally have a positive verdict in the Glenn Serial case. Well, I am certainly glad to hear that Jacoby is doing all right. And even more thrilled that Glenn has at least showing signs of eventually going to where he rightly belongs. He has, the appeal has been denied and Glenn will be serving his five day sentence at the Snohomish County Correction. And I've heard that those windows you cannot see out of. Um, My so. thanks to Judge Moore for doing the proper thing, as well as Judge Grant, who found no merit in Glenn's case or Mr. Jones' arguments. Yes, we're very, very thankful for all of that. So as soon as I have more information about when Glenn is to serve his time, or there's any new documents filed in the case, I will be sure to share them with everybody. Today is the day to pop the champagne or drink of your choice. 
So good news, everyone. This is Shay2 signing out. Thank you very much, ladies, for that update. Your efforts in keeping Glenn Serio on our radar are quite appreciated. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work.